Hello again. We come towards the end of the Easter season. I'm looking forward to Sunday when I'll be at St Paul's Cathedral for um, a live streaming of what's being referred to as the Thy Kingdom Come Beacon event. Um, Thy Kingdom Come was an initiative that was a gift to us from the Church of England. Really a very simple concept of uh, us praying for five friends as we lead up to Pentecost. Uh, five friends who we might commend to God that they might know him in a fresh way, know the Lord Jesus in a, in a way which is different to perhaps the, the way they've um, known him and uh, not taken account of him. But it's a very, very simple thing, something that calls us back to our spiritual vocation, our spiritual vocation of being concerned for others and for evangelism. So if you have the opportunity, I'd be very glad if you join me live streamed uh, Sunday night, I think from about 6 p.m. onwards for, uh, for this event. And I'd be really thrilled if you took up this initiative and prayed for five people who you think could be able to come more closely into an understanding of the Lord Jesus and his love and his mercy for them. There are many things uh, happening around us. Uh, they're all often versions of the, the COVID-19 pandemic theme, and you probably can't listen to a news bulletin without hearing in great detail many things about it. But there's uh, one practical thing that was brought to me from uh, Benitas uh, just in the last couple of days. They're, they're trying to open, open up their uh, facilities, their nursing homes, their places where uh, aged people are able to live. And uh, of course, they've had to have quite stringent controls over uh, the access of uh, people into those places to prevent infection, and that will continue. But they're needing volunteers to help them uh, open up uh, for visitors, family to be able to participate, and there's a lot of extra effort. So if you have the chance, and uh, you know of Benitas, their work in an area near you, uh, you might like to commend uh, for people to be volunteers there. You can go to the Benitas website, and it'll tell you about what's involved in volunteering, but I think this is a great initiative and uh, along with our other Anglican agencies making a tremendous contribution to the community in, in this time of great difficulty. So uh, commend that initiative uh, for you and for um, you to support. Uh, there's a lot of things happening uh, in the work of the diocese. Some of it is um, uh, hidden <laughs> work amongst many committees that I'm part of, um, I know uh, I, I'm involved in, and the bishops, uh, others are involved in lots of uh, virtual Zoom meetings, but uh, really pleased that the, the hard work that's gone on in the background has meant that our application for the JobKeeper measure has been approved, and uh, this gives us a lot of confidence. We can move forward now with the June payroll uh, in, in a way that we, uh, we can be confident that uh, all, all of our commitments can be met. So this is great. It's a, it's a month at a time where we're really glad for the provision of the Australian government. There were a lot of technical things we had to meet to comply with that, but we're very confident that the June payroll, pay run can uh, take place predictably. So that gives us a lot of confidence. And, and we're working towards what we think will be uh, perhaps a bit of a testing time because a lot of the measures the government's put in place uh, about employment, about financial support, they come to an end at the end of September. So that period from, from uh, October through probably to April next year is uh, is possibly, you know, there may be other um, measures that come out, but um, this is going to be a pretty testing one as uh, some of these current financial uh, capacities and initiatives run out. So we're looking at how, how we can finalise some of our diocesan policies so that we can come out of this stronger. That's really our aspiration. We, we just love to come uh, with our parish network of across Greater Melbourne and Geelong, come out of this with a, with a stronger ministry presence and a, a stronger drive to be a, a real uh, force for the Christian gospel in our great city. So that's our aspiration and we're, we're coming to finalise some of the initiatives that we think can help that. Clearly, we've got uh, people are going to be brought into ministry at the deacons' ordinations uh, in February next year, in whatever form they can take, depending on where we're up to. But we'd really like to see they can start their uh, ministry vocations in as confident a way. So there's resource questions there. There are resource questions about how we can 
uh, best make sure that parishes that are in a position to relaunch out of this hibernation can do that strongly. So they're the, they're the kind of things that we're trying to put some uh, uh, completion to the, the policy positions on, on those matters. So you'll hear some more about that in the, in the coming weeks and you'll hear some more about uh, how the, uh, the lifting of the, the government restrictions uh, will apply in the uh, specific character of things. We're uh, going to be seeking your cooperation for COVID safe officers to be appointed in each parish because there's a, a great deal of compliance that's required of us uh, as places that can receive members of the public into our uh, places of worship in whatever form we're, we're opening up uh, and we're, whenever we do that. But there's going to be um, a lot of effort that's involved there uh, for us to be do that do, do that safely and so we'll be looking for your cooperation so uh bless you uh, again in all that you're doing uh let's be confident and have that vision of a, a stronger and a brighter future and i just want to conclude in sharing with you uh, uh the prayer that comes from thy kingdom come the prayer that um i won't say the names of the people i'm praying for but uh, you can sort of see when i read this prayer You'd add the names of the people after I mention uh, the, the, that obvious part halfway through it. So I'll just conclude today with this prayer. Loving Father, in the face of Jesus Christ, your light and glory have blazed forth. Send your Holy Spirit that I may share with my friends the life of your Son and your love for all. Strengthen me as a witness to that love as I pledge to pray for them, for your name's sake. Amen. The Lord bless you, keep you, watch over you and protect you this day and forevermore. Amen.